Hello everyone, Silverman here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play the Pokemon Trading Card Game for Game Boy Color. In the last episode, I beat the Challenge Cup and gave a gravel to this guy, but if I had to redo that, I gave, had to give him a wheezing this time. So, if he asks for a graveler again during the course of this Let's Play, don't be surprised, because he always asks for the same four cards. Anyway, so, and then I had to soft reset after triggering something that makes me permanently miss a card. So, so what you want to do to check to trick out this guy? Save every time before you talk to him. That much is the given. Just because because you only know if you have enough energy cards to do this by talking to him. And if you say no, he runs away like I foolishly did in the last episode. I had no idea that he would call you a meanie and run away if you said no. <sighs> Anyways, what you want to do is I'll show you my deck. Same names, right? Well. All one basic Pokemon, everything else is energy. It is the same for all my old decks, but I save them in the deck save machine so I can recall them once I get done with this. Let's talk to him. When you start to build a lot of decks, you start running out of energy cards. Please give me your energy card. Give me all the energy cards that are in your deck. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! All of them! As much as I hate to... I, yeah, I'll give you whatever... 10 or less energy cards that are out of my decks. Wow, thanks! Since you were so nice, I'll tell you a secret. Check the wall two tiles left of the bookcase. You'll probably something, find something really nice. Thanks again. Bye! Jacob, check the wall. Jacob found a level 9 slowpoke. HP, headbutt for 10 damage, and amnesia, which allows you to choose one of your opponent's attacks and make it not use that during its next turn. Yeah! Not really worth it! But if you want to finish up your card collection, you need that card. So, I will cut here real quick and I'll be right back with all my proper decks that I retrieved from the deck save machine. Alright, so now let's head to the Fire Club to battle there. And I build a deck specifically for this. The Water Battler deck. Which focuses on water and fighting types. Specifically because this, this club also uses colorless Pokemon that are weak to fighting types. I wonder if we can battle this one first. I am Ken, the Fire Club Master. So you collect mail to inherit legendary cards? You will need many cards in order to inherit the legendary card. Hmm, it seems you have collected many cards. Let us begin our duel. I wonder if it, it's based on... Don't doubt my burning desire competition, but I want to show off your club members to, to and battle them first. So, this is a Fire Club where guys with a burning passion for pulling trade cards get together for heated duels. Join the fiery fun. Yeah, we'll duel you. Four prizes. Let's heat it up. Anger deck. John's deck focuses on, may seem to be a standard, pre, standard fire and fighting deck, but all of his Pokemon tend to use uh, an ability that increases the damage the Pokemon has taken has increased, like Cubone's Rage, Tauros's Rampage, and stuff like that. He does wall using Cubone, but his main focus is those rage attacks. And I win! Awesome! Yeah, that was really hot! You're the greatest! Let me give you this! Let's see it again! Another Gengar for crying out loud! And another Revolution Boost Pack. Machamp, it's okay, that might be slightly more helpful, but... Skip again! Mm. Now let's duel you first. Hey, is everyone have a pop fever? Deal with the fever? You have Pokemon fever? Duel with me! Alright, let's duel Adam. Single match with four prizes! Come on, duel me! I already said I would, dude! And... Okay, I know I've seen that character before somewhere. Adam's deck focuses on flamethrower attacks, which are powerful from Pokemon like Magmar, Charizard, and Flareon, but they require discarding a fire energy card. So, if you wanted to keep them from him from attacking for two turns after he gets a uses it, use a 
Enter your removal card to discard those energy cards from his Pokemon. And I win! Whoa, I lost! Here, this booster pack's yours! I'll see you in booster pack! What is it with me not keeping, still not getting cards I need? Again, first thing, booster pack! Alright, now, let's steal you! Come on, Fia! Oh, say fire, Pokemon! You, come on, say fire! Fire, Pokemon! Okay, let's duel! Yeah, let's steal you! Four Pride Bash! Oh, here we go! Fire, Pokemon! Uh, reshuffle deck. Generally, this deck is all about annoyingly reshuffling your strategy around, whether it be by paralyzing your Pokemon, removing your energy, or even by mixing up your bench Pokemon entirely f by evolving his into the Game Boy Ninetales, or by evolving to Pidgeotto and using Whirlwind, which forces you to switch your Pokemon with the damage it does, unless you only have one po active Pokemon and no bench Pokemon. So, keep that in mind, be prepared for what he can do, and he tends to draw a lot of cards using Kangaskhan, so be aware of that. Win, win, win! See ya, young Gary. That was a great duel! I want you to have this! And two trainers that give you Coliseum booster packs. Oh, got another magic card. Not that we're probably gonna use it, be able to use it. Well, what am I talking about? We're probably gonna be able to use it. Let's do again! Come on, people say fire Pokemon! Alright, so now that we've beaten all three club members, let's duel Ken. I am Ken, the Fire Club Master. I see you've collected more cards. Let's begin our duel. Yes, let's duel him. We'll fight with six prizes. If you win, I'll give you a medal. Come on, let's start with the duel. Again, this guy does remind me of something, someone. Not sure who, but they probably weren't around at the time this game was made, so... Ken's deck focuses on using trainer cards pretty darn skillfully, whether it be for draw power, to protect his Pokemon, or to reuse cards like double colorless energy. He does have some fire Pokemon such as Growls, but his main threats are all colorless Pokemon such as Tauros, Wigglytuff, and Chansey. Special and trust me, those Jigglypuffs, you do not want to let them evolve. He focuses on evolving them pretty darn much. His Chanseys, on the other hand, they do do a lot of damage with the double edge attack, but they also do a lot of damage to themselves whenever that attack is used. Sometimes, to the point of him actually knocking out his own Chansey just to catch back up on prizes. Tortoise's Rampage, as I mentioned before, is a very powerful attack. 20 damage plus 10 more for each damage counter, but it confuses itself at the end, so Water and Fighting Deck should be fine. We won! Fourth medal! Awesome. That was a great duel. Here, let me give you this. And we get the Fire Medal! With this, you're a little closer to the legendary Pokemon card. Here, take this too. I hope it'll help you out. Mystery Booster Pack! Again, Ken does not give you Laboratory Booster Packs. Unfortunately. Molt Race. What is it with me not getting in again? Let's play a heated duel again! See you later! Now, I'm gonna save here because I don't remember if Ronald appears again after this split medal. But I'm going to switch to my Thunder Deck just in case. No, he doesn't. Okay. So, I guess I'm going to check to see if Ishihara wants to trade again. By check talking with this guy. No new news. Actually, I probably should check my email because... There is an email associated with every club master. It's me, Dr. Mason. Have you collected many cards? I have some information for you about Ken's deck. He's the master of the Fire Club. His deck consists of Fire Pokemon and Colorless Pokemon. Pit a Water Pokemon against Fire Pokemon, and a Fighting Pokemon against the Colorless Pokemon. Study the decks from the Water and Fighting Metal Deck Machines. Here's a gift for you. It's a mystery booster pack. That's a literally kind, the kind of booster pack he gives you. Another Kabu Tops. Uh, cards I already have. Just look closely at the cards you just received. You should be able to come up with a winning strategy. Mason Laboratory. Dr. Mason. Thank you, Mason. Alright. 
Nah, let's not duel him. So, what about Fighting Club? Let's see if there's anything from this guy. Graveler, yeah. Alright, so now he is... You know, I could show these bookcases, I guess. Double colorless energy is very useful card. By using this single card, you are able to attach two energies at one. But be careful because the energy is colorless. It is difficult to create combos with, fi with a fighting Pokemon since not many fighting Pokemon have Pokemon power. However, their strong attacks make up for this. Fighting Pokemon characters are strong as lightning Pokemon, weak against psychic Pokemon, require fighting energy cards to attack. All of the clubs have bookcases like this, telling you things you may or may not know. Is that? Oh, the challenge. Yeah. Same lines as usual. Oh, but I should probably show this too. First legendary Pokemon cards is level 37 Moltres. With Fire Giver, you can place Fire Energy cards in your hand. Also, Dive Bomb is a powerful attack. Grandmaster Courtney, the Fire Queen, owns this card. The second legendary Pokemon card is le level 68 Zapdos, with Peel of Thunder. Just putting this card on the bench causes damage. Also, Big Thunder is a powerful attack. The Thunder Grandmaster, Steve, owns this card. The third legendary Pokemon card is level 37 Articuno. Its quick freeze will paralyze opponent Pokemon when the card is put into play. Also, Ice Breath is a powerful attack. Grandmaster Jack, the Iceman, owns this card. So it's giving us information about the Elite Four. The fourth legendary Pokemon card is level 41 Dragonite. This healing wind will heal damage done to Pokemon when this card is played. Also, Slam is a powerful attack, where it's based pretty basic in the game. Ra, leader of the Grandmasters, owns this card. Courtney, Steve, Jack, and Ra, the four Grandmasters who defeat the legend... Um, who defend the legendary Pokemon cards, not defeat them, what is the heck? Are all masters of the Pokemon training card game. There's a total of eight Master Medals owned by the Club Masters. It's said that the secrets of the Club's deck have been encrypted in the Master Medals. Some say the medals were a gift from the Grandmasters. Those in search of legendary Pokemon cards. Defeat the Master of the Eight Clubs and attain the Eight Medals. Once attained, defeat the Grandmaster here at Pokemon Dome. Then you shall inherit legendary Pokemon cards. Oh, yeah, I probably should have showed this. Hey, hi, Jacob. What are you doing here? Yes, legendary Pokemon cards will be inherited here at Pokemon Dome. Of course, I, Ronald, will inherit the cards. Hey, did you collect the medals? Uh, no, not yet. Duh, that's pretty obvious. There's no way you can collect them all. Why don't you just give up? See ya! Yeah. Nope, no new mail. Uh, so, I guess in between recordings I will grind up more cards because... Because two out of the three clubs left that we can take on right now are weak to psychic type, and I want to use a specific kind of psychic deck against them. But, let's end the episode off by... by activating the fire metal deck machine. Psychic metal deck machine. Lightning metal deck machine. Fighting metal deck machine. It's always the last one you check. Science metal, yeah, it literally is the last one left. Yeah, let's see what decks there are. Traffic light deck, what? Oh, it's fire, water, and lightning. Why not fire, lightning, and grass? That's the question. Charizard deck. Obviously, Charizard and Venusaur. Replace an oil deck. Which probably involves the mix-up. Mixing powers that make stuff up. Fire Pokemon deck. And once again, the actual deck instructions do not include the decks don't include the Clubmaster's deck for whatever reason. Ah, well. So, as I said before, next time, we will be heading for one of the other clubs and getting the Master Medal there. See you, thank you for watching so very much, and I will see you, wait, 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 wait. I just, yeah, sorry for cutting myself off from the out for so many times, but, you know. Yeah, this.
trades the Blastoise for a Charizard. So I might as well show it off. We already have both cards, so... Alright, so let's check if there's either any other trades we can get right now. Alright, yeah, that's extra dialogue we unlocked. Anything else we can give to that guy in the fire fighting club? Alright. We haven't I haven't really checked the room at the science club yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's no people that are willing to trade at the science club. What about trading at the psychic club? Oh, what? Hi, Jacob. So you finally come this far? I've already won five medals. By the time you win your eighth medal, I will already have been nearing the legendary Pokemon cards. Catch you later. See ya. Ha ha ha. Well, glad I could show that. No, let's not do it, Robert. All right. Um, no, there's nothing at the fire club. Oh, lightning club. There's another Trayakon shell. Oh, and then Imakuni's here. So, I'm actually going to modify my lightning deck just slightly. I know Electabuzz is a really good card, and I only have two of them, but I'm going to switch it out for this Zapdos, because we actually need one of those Electabuzz to trade. Hey, you charged up? Playing the Pokemon Trainer game? Yeah, got me a grammar. Okay, so it's not this guy. Hey, kid, with me again. Do you have a level 35 Electabuzz? Go on, trade for a level 20 Electabuzz. We'll trade you. We get another promo from Pokemon the first movie. That promotional Electabuzz. Not as good as the other Electabuzz. But hey. Yeah, but yeah, now for real, I'm going to cut this here. So thank you for watching all the way to the end, and I will see you in the next episode.